Okay, I would like to tell you about a dive where the stars of scuba diving aligned. And what I saw on this dive is the famous mushroom coral pipefish. You see it in this ellipsoid. This animal here, which looks like a skinny white worm living in a sea anemone, is actually a seahorse relative living in a coral. Now, all of the seahorses and pipefishes have these highly modified bodies. They don't really look very much like a typical fish, you know, like a trout or a tuna. And instead, these pipefishes are very elongated and they're typically more crawling than swimming. This particular species lives its whole life in this mushroom coral. So yes, so this tentacled animal here is a fungite coral, a mushroom coral. It's one of these rare corals which consists of a single polyp, not of a large colony of polyps. And after their pelagic larval stage, these pipefish settle in the mushroom coral and then they spend their whole lives there. Now, this particular couple of mushroom coral pipefish and you can see two of them in some parts of the video was found in Darwin by my friend Matt who is also known as the John Belushi of the coral reef and these pipefish settled there in about March 2020 so they're about a year and a half old now which is a significant age for such small animals Usually the smaller the animal, the shorter their lifetime. Now, they're probably about five or six centimeters long and uh, two or three millimeters in diameter. And as you can see, they really never leave that mushroom coral. And uh, they, they pick off small plankton particles from around the water column to feed. The, footage I got on this dive I shot with the Enon Buck Islands which turned out to be ideal for filming this fish. Now this Buck Islands is a so-called close focus wide-angle lens. I can focus with this lens on animals and subjects which are only a few centimeters in front of the, the front of the lens of the camera and at the same time, I get a wide angle view. So you can see the whole mushroom coral, which is probably about 20 centimeters in diameter, but you can also see the sand uh, in its environment. And at the same time, you can really see that mushroom coral pipefish well. Now, in addition, what I did during that dive, I did a solo dive. That's not recommended for beginners. However, I've been to this dive site, which is generally harmless in terms of the currents and the visibility many, many times. And with my you know, decade long dive experience, it's really not that dangerous. And so, because I didn't have to wait for anybody, I found this mushroom coral again, and then I just decided to give it a shot to film them with this bug eye lens and I probably spent a good 10 minutes with this pair of mushroom coral pipefish and I barely had to edit the video so this normally doesn't happen very often I could I can just show you the continuous feed so there were barely any stretches where the mushroom coral pipefish were out of focus so this was fantastic this really felt like me and the pipefish, you know, working together to get this video. You know, I'm sure that the pipefish don't realize they're being filmed. We don't want to anthropomorphize. But at the same time, they're probably noticing that there's a diver around them. They, they certainly noticed my video light. You know, they, they kept doing the thing. They usually move around between these tentacles of the fungate coral and uh, they don't seem to be particularly scared of me. They're very well camouflaged. So you can see these white lines at the bottom of the mushroom coral and they, they really fit in there. So this is not a fish you will just discover by coincidence. You have to see 
see them when you're looking for them. Now, I hope you enjoyed this footage and uh, please check again for the next video in a couple of days.